Mr. Chairman, representatives of the IA organization, fellow delegates, special guests, members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the Caribbean Union, we thank the Lord for what was accomplished during these last five years. Despite the many challenges, the Seventh-day Adventist Church continues to positively impact the lives of millions around the Caribbean. The Community Services Department, one of the most important departments of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, in many ways, it has served well. It is the loving, serving, compassionate side of the church. It can open closed doors, break down religious and social barriers, and build bridges for the gospel to enter once unreachable places and people. Here is where the real effective connecting with people and sharing the love of God took place. My brothers and sisters, the New Testament church was very successful in soul winning. Why? According to Acts chapter 2 and verse 4, because they use two methods. According to Ray Stedman, the early church utilized two approaches in witnessing to the world. Number one, koinonia, fellowship. And number two, kerygma, proclamation. The approach of some churches today is to place great emphasis on proclamation and leave out loving, fellowshipping, and connecting with people. This approach did not and will not work. It was Sister E.G. White who states, Adventist work is to first meet the temporal needs and then find an opening avenue of the heart where they can plant the seed, the good seed of virtue and religion. Testimonies to the Church, Volume 4, page 227. She further emphasized the importance and effectiveness of loving ministry when she said, If we would but humble ourselves before God and be kind and courteous and tender-hearted and pitiful, there would be 100 conversions to the truth where now there's only one. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 9, page 189. Here's where the work of community services is so vitally important. During the past five years, Conferences and missions were assisted in providing opportunities for churches to be a place where those in crisis could find comfort and help, and those without hope can find a blessed hope. I'm pleased to report that through the many community services departments of the churches, many barriers were broken down, relational bridges built, and some who were once enemies of the church are now our friends. The church cannot afford to underestimate the power and effectiveness of this ministry of compassion. Please listen now as Sister Shania Brown shares with us a synopsis of the work of the Caribbean Union Community Services and Possibility Ministries Departments during the period 2016 to 2020. This department functioned at five levels. Level one the individual member. Level two, the church. Level three, national and zonal. Level four, conference or mission community services department. Level five, Caribbean Union. Level one, the individual member. We have encouraged every member to be his brother's keeper to use whatever resources God has blessed him or her with to impact the community, make a difference, and be a blessing. When those needs are greater than individual members can supply, they should bring in those requests to the church. During the recent hurricanes in the Caribbean area, floods, and COVID-19 crisis, individual members were actively involved in rendering assistance to those in need. Level 2. The Church Churches were encouraged to have a strategic plan to cover its communities with the love of God. Each church was tasked with setting up structures to identify needs, be the first responders to disasters, family crisis, bereavement, sickness, imprisonment, divorce, hunger, displaced refugees, the homeless, 
etc. During the five-year period, including the period of hurricanes and the COVID-19 pandemic, the following humanitarian programs were conducted. Number one, regular visitation to homes, sick people, the hospital, senior citizens' homes, orphanages, etc. Two, thousands of food baskets were distributed. Three, literature distribution program. Four, respond to the needs of victims of disasters, fires, floods, hurricanes, COVID-19, etc. Five, preparation and distribution of care packaging. Six, preparation and distribution of COVID-19 information. Seven, counseling services or parenting classes. Eight, skills training programs. Nine, tutorial classes. Level three, national and zonal. Community services federations. This is an amalgamation of churches and districts for the pooling of resources and expertise. At this level, needs and larger problems are addressed and managed. This body also assists the conference or mission in mobilizing, recruiting, training of members, organizing conventions, managing national disasters, coordinating conventions, rallies, retreats, and other programs. Several national community services convention seminars, skills training, and disaster response initiatives were conducted by the national and zonal federations. Level four, conference or mission community services department. They are responsible for coordinating and developing all areas of the humanitarian work in their field. They are also responsible for mobilizing, recruiting, and equipping churches and members to give effective service in their communities. These are some of the activities the department was involved in during the five-year period. Number one, assisted in provided spiritual context for the ministry and opportunities for connection with God and commitment to serve. Two, prepared and provided a strategic plan and encouraged each field to do the same. Three, help in identifying major crises and needs in communities and developed programs and activities to meet those needs. Four, provided guidance and supervised response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Five, encourage participation in the yearly in gathering program to provide funds to meet the needs in their communities. Six, provide resource material to conferences or missions and churches. Seven, train and equip church leaders and members to respond and meet the needs in the communities. Eight, some fields have community services centers from where clothing, food, and other services are offered and programs implemented. Nine, developed a disaster plan and assisted churches to do the same. 10. Conduct investiture services, conventions, retreats, and rallies to inspire, mobilize, empower, and deploy leaders and members. Worked with the personal ministry department and encouraged the participation of members in the ingathering campaign. Level five, Caribbean Union. The Caribbean Union's responsibility is to give overall supervision and develop the work in the territory. Guidance and training is also provided to field directors, church leaders, and members. These are some of the programs conducted during the five-year period. One, a Lord Transform Me Community Services Strategic Plan was developed and shared with the 10 field directors and church leaders. Two, October 10th to 11th, 2017, Community Services Directors Advisory. 
A very successful advisory was held at the University of the Southern Caribbean with emphasis on innovative programs, disaster preparedness and response strategies, evaluations of past, and preparing for the future. Three, the director participated in several community services retreats and conventions. Four, May 9th to 11th, 2019, Community Services and ADRA Disaster Summit, Grenada. Present were union and field administrators and directors. The main presenters were from the General Conference and the Inter-American Division. Two major and important recommendations coming out of the summit were Number 1. ADRA and Community Services Departments to work together in disaster preparedness and response. 2. Recommend to the Caribbean Union Executive Committee that additional funds should be provided from in gathering for disaster response. Countries within the Caribbean were severely affected by hurricanes and other disasters during this period. Disaster relief efforts for countries affected were coordinated with ADRA and Community Services Departments of the Caribbean Union. 2017, the Union's PM Director also visited SLC, SLM and NCC and met with leaders and provided guidance and support for relief efforts. All 10 fields were actively involved in making substantial financial contribution and in relief activities and ministry to persons affected. Some of the disaster responses during the period were Dominica Relief. In 2017, the Union, along with Dr. Samuel Telemach, visited Dominica after a hurricane and met with pastors, church leaders, and members to give support and set up structure for receiving and distributing relief. Assistance also received from IAD and NGO organizations. May 17 to 21st, 2018. The Caribbean Union provided psychological healing for those affected from the hurricane in Dominica. Pastor Niev George Chaplin was our main presenter. Some of the community services investiture programs. August 3rd to 5th, 2018. South Leeward Conference Community Services Retreat and Investiture Service was held in St. Kitts for the South Leeward Conference. Over 110 participants. November 9th to 11th, 2018, the Union's PM Director participated in the Community Services Investiture of the Northwest District, Guyana. 80 persons were invested. May 17th to 19th, 2019, Union's PM Director was involved in Community Services Convention and Training, Antigua. Over 130 persons were invested. During the five-year period, over 1,000 persons were invested within the Caribbean Union. COVID-19 Relief Efforts During the COVID-19 period, the Community Services Department at the Union and all 10 fields were very visible and actively ministering to persons in need. Community services leaders and members were in the forefront bringing relief to members and persons in their communities. Many partnered with governments, ADRA, and NGOs in their relief efforts. Possibility Ministry, Special Needs, Connect and Share. People with possibilities are important to God. Jesus died for them and desires that they be treated with respect and value. Jesus spent much time ministering to their needs. Matthew 14, 11, John 3, 16. Ellen G. White says, Christ regards all acts of mercy, benevolence, and thoughtful consideration for the unfortunate, the blind, the lame, the sick, the widow, and the orphan as done to himself. And these works are preserved in the heavenly records and will be rewarded. Testimonies, Volume 3, page 512. 
God expects us to reach out to the thousands of persons with disabilities in the Caribbean. This is a relatively new department in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and we continue to work for the inclusion of the possibility ministry into the way of life in every church. The following are the goals established for the Quinquennium. 1. To have persons with special needs experience a transformed relationship with Jesus. 2. To assist the fields to develop a register of all persons with special needs within and outside the church. 3. To have an increase in the number of churches catering for and ministering to persons with special needs. 4. To increase the church's awareness of the special needs ministry, persons with disabilities, ministry opportunities, and how they should relate to them. 5. To identify and develop the talents, gifts, and skills of persons with special needs, and provide opportunities for them to be used within and outside the church. 6. To encourage structural changes of our church buildings to accommodate and cater for persons with disabilities. 7. To seek to improve the self-esteem of persons with disabilities and enable them to see their true worth and limitless possibilities when they are in Jesus. 8. To encourage the fields to organize training in signing and churches to provide signing during their services for the hearing period. 9. To encourage churches to appoint someone as Adventist Possibility Ministry Leader for their church. These are some of the major programs conducted during the period 2016 to 2020. Resource material and the strategic plan and program ideas were prepared and shared. Training was conducted in the fields with emphasis in the three main AAA areas, awareness, making leaders and members aware of this ministry and people group, acceptance, getting church members to accept persons with disabilities as valuable, identify their needs and talents, and accept them as part of the church family, and action, getting churches and leaders to act to build ramps, provide signing, and plan their services to meet the needs of the deaf, blind, and other persons with disability. Here are some of the programs we were involved in during the period. October 10th to 16th, 2018, IAD Special Needs Summit in Guatemala. 2019, IAD Special Needs Summit, Mexico. Dr. Larry Evans, the three IAD administrators, and Dr. Samuel Telemac were present along with representatives from the 24 unions and 10 delegates from the Caribbean Union. Sabbath, 25th of April, 2020. IAD Virtual Special Needs Summit was conducted during the pandemic with representatives from all 24 unions and several persons from the Caribbean Union. St. Lucia Needs Summit, Convention, 153 participants and over 500 marched around the city. South Caribbean Conference Sign Language Training. 63 persons graduated and received their certificates. We continue to promote awareness, acceptance, participation, and action by all and to encourage the election of possibility ministry leaders in every church. Connect and Share, Prison Ministry. There are several very active prison ministry chapters around the Caribbean paying weekly visits to connect, share the word of God, and give support to prisoners and their families. During the period under review, many prisoners have surrendered their lives to Jesus. The Caribbean Union is now in the process of preparing a constitution for the formation of the Caribbean Union Prison Ministry Association. Connect and Share Acts of Kindness Movement Over 2,000 persons have since joined the Acts of Kindness Movement and are now involved in daily acts of kindness and making the world a better place. We are determined to move the movement forward 
being well aware of its tremendous potential to advance the kingdom of God. We thank the Lord for all that we were able to accomplish through the efforts and dedication of directors, officers, and members. In appreciation, I would like to thank Almighty God for his presence and leadership. Pastor Melchor Ferreira from the Inter-American Division, our union administrators and directors, community services field directors, community services church leaders and members, my efficient administrative assistant, Sister Pauline Frederick, and my wife, Donna Lise, and children. Thanks to all for the excellent support, hard work, and great leadership. In conclusion, the Community Services Department continues to play a leading role in bringing people of the community in close contact with the Seventh-day Adventist Church. There is need for greater collaboration and effort to connect and share with people of all ages, races, religion, economic standing in our communities. The more we as a church follow closely the admonition of Jesus and be kind, courteous, tender-hearted, and pitiful, the more successful we would be in our evangelistic programs. Yes, my friends, the goodness of God needs to be seen and felt through the working of the community services department, possibility ministry, prison ministry, in acts of kindness from our church members. The Seventh-day Adventist Church will continue to connect and share with the intention of building bridges, breaking down barriers, walls of segregation to advance the kingdom of God. So let us all unite in our efforts to minister effectively to all the people in our communities and share the good news of the second coming of Jesus. May the Lord bless us all. Thank you.